Hello and welcome to this presentation on setting up closed loop speed in RoboG4 products. Closed loop speed is a mode that controls the motor's speed by regulating its voltage. The feedback sensor, used to close the loop, ensures that the motor reaches the desired speed regardless of any disturbances. The motor we will use in this presentation is a BLDC type, and we will demonstrate how to control it in closed loop speed using any of the supported motor sensors. Robotech drives employ a cascaded control mode, where speed and torque loops work collaboratively to drive the motor to the desired set point. Thus, it's essential to first configure and evaluate open loop and torque modes before diving into closed loop speed mode. For more information about configuring the other loops, please refer to the respective videos and quick startup guides. Let's move on to the controller configurations now. To start, connect the USB cable to the controller and open the Roborin Plus utility. Load the configurations from the controller. These should be based on your previous open loop and torque mode tuning. Essential parameters, such as the number of pole pairs and the FOC gains, should already be set and the motor sensor setup process should have been completed to calibrate the motor. Navigate to the closed loop sensor setting and configure the sensor that will be used for the closed loop operation. The other option corresponds to quadrature encoders and SSI sensors, while internal relates to Hall, SYNCOS, or resolver sensors. If multiple motor sensors are available, it's preferable to use the sensor with the higher resolution for feedback. If encoders or SSI sensors are used, configure them to act as feedback and select the appropriate channel. The sensor's resolution should have been set earlier during the open loop configuration. Set the maximum speed of the motor. This is the highest speed that the controller is permitted to command and corresponds to a G command of plus or minus 1000. Optionally, you can set a minimum motor speed. The motor will then accelerate directly from this speed, bypassing any intermediary stages. Then set the desired acceleration and deceleration for the motor. The controller will drive the motor to the set point following this profile. Provide a reasonable value that the motor can achieve when loaded, taking into account both the controller and motor current limitations. Set the operating mode to closed loop speed. Temporarily disable the closed loop error detection. This error detection will be triggered if the motor response is slower than expected, which could indicate a motor failure or an overload condition. At this stage, where the motor is not yet properly tuned, this feature should not be taken into account. Next, set the closed loop speed PID gains. Finding the optimal PID gains is part of the motor's PID tuning process and should be carried out when the motor is operating under its nominal load, as the system characteristics vary under different load conditions. This topic will be covered in another video tutorial. In this video, we will set some preliminary PID gains to effectively enable the motor to reach its set point when operating without load. Begin by assigning a value of 0.01 to both the proportional and integral gains. This setting should provide an adequate response for most motor types. If the motor response appears slow, you can increase the values of both PI gains by the same factor. Conversely, if the motor exhibits vibrations, consider decreasing these values. Ideally, the ramped command and feedback values should coincide. If you observe this behavior when the motor operates without load, then the no-load, speed mode configuration is successful. You can now proceed to our next video demonstrating the speed mode load tuning. Thanks for watching.